most famous death that happened um, in the Holocaust was Miss Anne Frank. She wrote, well, she, she, wrote, she had a diary, and she kept all of her um, experiences about the Holocaust in that diary and when she had passed away her father found the diary and he planned to be able to and he made sure that that book was published and that everybody got to see how horrible it the holocaust was and that's what he did it's been published in almost all languages it's so many languages like german or english <laughs> and so yeah and so that's how important Anne Frank was to the Holocaust. And those, are, and she's basically the most, mm, it, well, not, she's not, well, she's what people think of when you hear Holocaust. You think, uh, you, meet, you immediately think of the diary of Anne Frank. You just write on the spot. And it was, she was so much more than that. She wasn't just a, a, an author. I mean, she didn't even plan to be an author. She, she was just a regular girl who kept a diary. Very good. And, 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 and so in a real sense, You've identified Adolf Hitler as uh, perhaps one of these dictators, and I think you've indicated that a dictator is a person that controls uh, the government, the political They're government, the ruler everything, of everything, everything, and et cetera. And now, what do you think uh, over the last uh, two minutes that we have doing this segment? What do you think that uh, were some of the most destructive things that dictators did outside of actually killing people? I they. I mean, I think that was the worst thing that they did. I mean, they killed people. They ruined families. They separated families. They did so much to these people, to innocent people that didn't deserve this. And they were killed because of what they believed in. Well, if you looked at uh, these dictators, would, how would you uh, uh, classify them in terms of how they uh, suppress folks' freedom and their citizenship and uh, perhaps their right to vote? Did, 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 did they control that aspect of, yes, of the they, lives they, of Yes, they took away every right that, 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 that the, the people in that country had. They took away the 13th, 14th, 15th Amendment, the right to vote, the right to citizenship, and the right to be able to be a citizen. Mm -hmm. To be free. To be free, and, right. And in a real sense. And, and so in a real sense, these dictators that you've identified in Europe during uh, the uh, period of the Second World War, uh, you've identified Adolf Hitler as uh, perhaps one of the uh, uh, leaders in a real sense because of the... Uh, but he is nothing compared to Stalin and, and Mussolini. So, and, and, and that's what we're doing. We'll get ready by doing this uh, next segment. We'll come back and we'll talk about the other two uh, dictators that you've identified, uh, Joseph Stalin and uh, Mussolini, and then that will give us during this last segment an opportunity to pull all of this together and come up with some general statements in reference to uh, dictators, European dictators doing uh, this particular time, because I think that that's essentially what we're trying to get at, that while this happened a long time ago, it is that still the idea today. of uh, freedom, Exactly. Uh, the idea of citizenship and the idea of voting is still a very, very vital. And of course, uh, we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. <laughs> 